What's good YouTube? Because the Kobe here. So we're diving into a request from Way. This is another one of Ways. We got some Tim Minchin for you guys. This is called Prejudice. You guys know I love Tim Minchin. I really enjoy his style from what we've covered so far. He has a really comedic approach to things. Very satirical but serious at the same time. He's got a lot to say. And I'm always interested to see what he gives us whenever we do one by him. This will be the only video of the night. I think tomorrow we might only have one, too. Hopefully by Monday I'll be doing more than one for you again. It just depends on my schedule and everything like that. So Monday, I do believe we should be able to do at least two or three for you guys. And tomorrow, possibly only one, but maybe more than one. Maybe. I can't make any promises yet, though, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance, lighting. I like on the whole nine yards on busting the lyrics down for you guys. I really enjoy talking about all the topics in these songs, applying them to our own lives using them as a source of inspiration and motivation for the things that we go through in our lives. I tell you guys a lot of my own story and what I've been through in life on here, hoping that it can inspire you to also pull yourself out of the dark places that you might be in with addictions or mental health problems. Please go get professional help if you are struggling with those things. I had to do it for myself. Many other people have done it for themselves. And I promise you it works. It fucking works, man. There are people that are trained to really help you settle into yourself and get out of those things. A lot of lessons to be learned inside of it and meeting other people that are also going through the same thing. When you go get professional help and you go to a rehab or a facility or something like that, you get to meet a lot of people and hear a lot of stories. And you also get to get a lot of proper advice from people who have also been through the same thing because most people that work in that field started working in it because they had the same problem and got out of it and want to give back to the people that are still struggling so there is a lot of good advice to be had inside of going to get professional help i promise you guys life can get better you can accomplish all of your goals you can show the world what you're made of and then you can go out there and you can also inspire and motivate people to do the same thing for their self that you did for yourself by getting better and that's the beauty of it that's how it all comes full circle at the end of the day and you give back to people by telling your story and inspiring them to also go do the same thing for their self we've helped a lot of people on the channel here a lot of you guys I've, we've had people comment that they were going to go get help and that they would get back to us whenever they get out and let us know how they're doing and then they would actually come back into the comments a few weeks or a month later or whatever and let us know that they were doing good and stuff so we've impacted some people on the channel and actually gotten them to go get help for themselves and i love that i think we need to continue spreading that kind of energy on here with each other it's truly a blessing i thank you guys so much for giving me a platform Without you, it's not possible. You guys run this with me. You guys help run the show with me on here. And I couldn't be more grateful than to have people with this taste in music that really gets us talking about the deeper things inside of life. Right? I appreciate you guys. We're going to get into this for you. I'm Picasso Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Prejudice by Tim Minchin. This is a song about prejudice and the language of prejudice <laughs> and the power of the language of prejudice. <laughs> It's called Prejudice. Prejudice. Tim Minson is such a unique artist. He started out his song. The actual first lyrics of the song are his 
intro that he just said there. Like, it's on the lyric sheet. That's not just him doing that live. That's actually the song. And I love that about him. I love that that's the actual lyric sheet. <laughs> so I imagine... It says here that it was written a few years after he moved to the UK and was a response to the backlash Tim experienced over performing an original lyric in the song, If You Really Loved Me. All right, hold on. We gotta get the T. Hold on. Okay. So, it was performing an original lyric in the song, If You Really Loved Me, that alluded to the heavy use. Oh, Okay, it alluded to the heavy use of the N-word in hip-hop. Tim actually, oh, okay, oh, okay. Tim actually used the word in the song and got into a spot of trouble with his UK audiences over it before deciding to rewrite the lyric. He discusses the offending lyric and the aftermath in the Rock and Roll Nerd documentary. Damn, Tim, that's tough. You are wild, my guy. <laughs> you are fucking wild, my guy. My word. All right, let's see what Tim gets into with this right here. He said, this is a song about prejudice and the language of prejudice and the power of the language of prejudice. It's called Prejudice. That The T on that is insane, though. Tim, Tim is wild for that. Wow. In our modern free-spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. Oh. A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. You know, Tim ain't afraid to have any conversation at all. He will talk about anything. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is a huge conversation that gets had, right? That specific word right there holds so much weight in society. He wrote a whole song about it. Wow. He said, in our modern free spoken society, there's a word that we still hold taboo. A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress, and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. Yes, indeed. Man, outrage happens over that word online, right? Especially in music. In music, it gets really criticized by a lot of people. A lot of people don't like whenever that's used in hip-hop and stuff like that. There's plenty of people that don't like that, don't prefer that styling of verbiage, so to speak. To me, it's I've always considered it a part of the culture. If they want to say it in their music, then more power to them. It's more of a term of endearment when it comes to hip-hop, like almost saying brother, right? So it's used like that. In most hip hop songs, I mean, it's like I said, everybody has their own opinion on that when it comes to people saying it and everything like that. Man, Tim is not afraid to have any conversation at all. Like I said, he is, a, he's controversial. I'll give you that. He's very controversial. He will bring up the talking points of things that people are afraid to talk about. And he does it in a very intelligent way. He does it very intelligently. I mean, to have whole songs as responses to backlash and everything, that shows that he could hold his weight inside of what he had to say and in, in whatever. We'll have to look into that if you really loved me song for context 
whenever it fucking Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ, where is he gonna take this? Where is Tim gonna take this song? Because of the response to the criticism in the if you if you really loved me, is that what it was called? Yeah. If you really loved me. Okay. I got you. We're like I said, we're gonna have to look into that. I don't know how he's gonna spin this, but we will see. A cup of cheese, an R and an E, an I and an N. N, N, N. Just six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own. It doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So now. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's deep right there. He said a couple of G's, an R and an E, and I and an N. Just six letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. Wow. Powerful statement right there. Very powerful statement right there. I like his approach on this right here. I mean, obviously, it's responding to criticism and everything like that. That's rough, Tim. Like I said, he's fucking wild for what he did. I mean, obviously, he has since removed it and changed the lyrics, as it said in our little T-sheet down there. But still, I mean, you're wild, Tim Minchin. You are wild for that one, my guy. But I like the... It's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. I like that. I like the way he worded that. He worded it really intelligently. He's approaching this topic in a very intelligent manner. And he's got this, it's like a very dramatic kind of piano piece going for it i like his lighting selection always he always has good lighting in his shows from what i've noticed what we've covered by him so far let's see where he takes this they're underestimate the power that language imparts sticks and stones may break your bones but words can break hearts a couple of G's, cheese, unless you've had to live it. An R and an E, even I am careful with it. An I and an N, in the end, it will only offend. Don't want to have to spell it out again. <sighs> that wordplay is crazy. I like the way he tied those in like that. It was a really smart wordplay right there says, so never underestimate the power that language imparts. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can break hearts. Mm. A couple of G's, G's, unless you've had to live it, and R and an E, even I am careful with it. And I and an N, in the end, it will only offend. Wow, that's a nice one right there. Wow. That's really good. That's good lyricism there. Don't want to have to spell it out again, he says. Yeah, at this point, he's like, I think you get the point where I'm going with this. I think you understand the conversation that we're having here, right? Let's see what he does. Tim Minchin has his ways, and we're not even halfway through the song yet. Yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. 
Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he is fucking something else, dude. <sighs> this is the most insane thing we've had on the channel, honestly. <laughs> honestly, bro. <laughs> wow. Hold on, I gotta get this fucking lyric sheet to pop back up. Because my computer's over here opening tabs on itself and being crazy. <sighs> that is the most Tim mentioned thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Of the things. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man. My guy said... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> real nonchalant. Then he said, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. <laughs> I'm fucking over it. I'm over you guys. You guys are too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, Y'all are some fucking trolls for real. <laughs> Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So listen to me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger unless you're ginger yourself, yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. I'm fucking done, bro. Like, fucking deceased. <laughs> oh my god. He said, so listen to me. If you care for your health, you won't call me ginger unless you're ginger yourself. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. This fucking guy is ridiculous. This is fucking unbelievable. Wait, you knew what you were doing with this one. I'm gonna have to go watch every other reaction to this song now. I swear. <laughs> So listen to me if you care for your health You won't call me ginger unless you ginger yourself, yeah Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger yep. When you are a ginger, life is pretty hard Years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard the Kids call in your anger and fan of pants No invitation to the high school dance But you get up and learn to hold your head up You try to keep your cool and not get head up but until the feeling of ill is truly let up Then the word is ours and ours alone Don't you know that <laughs> Wow <laughs> It's not just first I want to say that his piano playing is fucking fantastic he is fantastic at the piano. I love the dissonance he had in the one section there. And I love that he just kind of jams out a lot on it. The chord progression is beautiful, really swingy. He's got a swing going on right now, and I like that kind of piano. I like that a whole lot on the tempo and everything like that. His cadence is fucking unbelievable. He's so funny. Tim Minchin is one of the funniest fucking people we've had on the channel, music-wise, right? He said, when you are a ginger, life is pretty hard. Years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard. Kids calling you Ranga and Fanta Pants. <laughs> Fanta Pants, bro. Is there an annotation for that? Yes, hold on. Oh my god. Ranga is an Australian colloquialism for orangutan, a reference to the color of the hair. 
and Fanta Pants is also an Australian colloquialism referring to the orange pubic hair that comes with natural ginger jeans. Drawing a comparison to the bright orange color of the soda of the same name. Y'all are fucking wild down there. Y'all need to get it the fuck together, I'll tell you. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> No invitation to the high school dance, but you get up and learn to hold your head up. You try to keep your cool and not get head up. But until the feeling of ill is truly let up, then the word is ours and ours alone. He said, until the feeling of ill is truly let up, then it's ours and ours alone. <sighs> the way that he approached this is the most amazing way that he could have. This is one of the best responses to criticism I've ever heard in my entire life. This is absolute mayhem, to be completely honest. You can't help but laugh your ass off at it. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen and heard in my entire life. Tim mentioned is a legend like all all personal opinions aside this guy is fucking on it he is really on it he's so smart his wordplay is incredible his references are hilarious he's got me cracking up like no tomorrow this is i've I don't know if I've ever laughed like this in a video before. I think Uninvited by Ren might have been the last one that got me fucking losing my mind like this, to be honest. And that was a while ago. So, shout out to Tim Minchin, man. We love having some laughter on the channel. This is unbelievable, man. Not only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. If only a ginger. Can call another ging a ging -a. So if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginger in it Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger The, the mispronunciation <laughs> Man He went from ginger to ginger this guy is unbelievable. I, I don't even fucking know what to say about this right now. It's just unbelievable. If you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged. If you don't Hold have on. a fringe with at least a... Bring it back. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. He said ginger. <laughs> this guy. Uh, so if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginger in it Only yeah. a ginger can call another ginger ginger Now listen to me we're not looking for sympathy Just because we're sensitive to UV Just cause we're pathetically pale We do alright with the females Yeah, I like to ask a This guy is the most controversial human ever, like you know how many girls will get mad at him saying females? You guys know. I know you guys know. I don't have to fucking tell you. You guys know what the fucking... <clears throat> what the social climate is like nowadays. <laughs> this guy's breaking every rule that exists. <laughs> what the fuck, Tim? What the fuck? I mean, this was long ago. Yeah, this was long ago. This video, this live performance is... 14 years old so he's addressing a song from long ago so it was definitely a little bit different back then yeah i can okay yeah looking at time frame i can see this happening this song right here looking at time frame the song adds up with time frame wise right okay i gotcha yeah <laughs> He said, now, people are going to be pissed off about this song today, right? I'll tell you what, this is one of them. He said, now, listen to me, we're not looking for sympathy just because we're sensitive to UV, just because we're pathetically pale. He said, we do all right with the females. 
Fucking Tim, bro. Ladies round for ginger beer. And soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beard. And dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah. And asking, can they call me ginger? And I say, I don't think that's appropriate, because only a ginger. He is so unhinged. Tim is one of the most unhinged people I've ever seen in my life musically, and I, I love it. I mean, I love it. I like controversial music, and I like the humor inside of his take on the approach to this song as well. This is one of the wildest things I've ever seen in my life. He said, I like to ask the ladies around for ginger beer. Soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beer, dunking my... He said, dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea and asking if they can call me ginger. And I say, I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> I fucking can't, bro. Why do you guys do this to me? <laughs> into their ginger tea, yeah. And asking, can they call me ginger? And I say, I don't think that's appropriate because only a ginger. <laughs> You call another ginger ginger yeah. And all the ladies they agree it's a fact But once you gone ginger you can't go back on the I'm so done I'm so done Oh my god, bro, stop. <laughs> this is gonna be one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I'm so glad. Way, thank you. <laughs> he said, because only a ginger can call another ginger ginger, or only a ginger can... <laughs> Only a Ginga can call another Ginga Ginga. He says all the ladies, they agree it's a fact. Once you've gone ginger, you never go back. <laughs> oh my god. I'm over it. <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate, because only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. And all the ladies, they agree it's a fact. But once you gone ginger, you can't go back. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Yeah, go ginger, go you funky motherfucking ginger. Yeah, you can call us bozo or fire truck. You can even call us carrot top or blood nut, blood nut, blood nut. Yeah, you can call us matchstick or tampon, tampon. <laughs> but fucking with the G word is just not on. If you're. <laughs> this is genius. It's genius. What else can you say, man? <laughs> he said, yeah, go, Ginge. Go, you funky motherfucking Ginge. <laughs> funky Ginger Mofo. <laughs> you can call us Bozo or Fire Truck. You can even call us Carrot Top or Blood Nut. You can call us Matchstick or Tampon. But fucking with the G where it's just not on. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. <laughs> a ginger phobe and you don't like us. We will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch ginger bite us. So maybe you should shut your funky mouth. Yeah. His jokes are so funny. He's too good. <laughs> Said if you're a ginger phobe and you don't like us, we will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch a ginger virus. Maybe you should shut your funky mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
God help me, bro. <laughs> you guys are too much. I never know what to expect with you guys, but this is one of the damnedest things we have ever had on the channel. Top three most insane songs we've had on the channel. Definitely one of my favorites that I've made for you guys. This is a really, really fun video right here, and I'm glad that you guys are going to get to see it. Holy shit. Way. I appreciate you, man. This is... We need some laughs inside of the world, especially in such a serious societal climate that we live in sometimes. Stuff like this is such a relief when there's so much tension and fucking divisiveness inside of everything in the world. Songs like this just break the fucking wall down, right? He's breaking the fourth wall right now is really what he's doing. <laughs> This is fucking unbelievable, really. Call me a ginger, keep calling out a ginger, ginger. Yeah, only a ginger, keep calling out a ginger, ginger. See, if you call a ginger, you can't whinge. If you're injured, if you don't have a tinge of the ginger in your minge, only a ginger, keep calling out a ginger, ginger. You know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause Papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread And they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read And by red I mean red and the other kind of red It's a homophone Only a ginger can call an agent So he said, this rhyme scheme here is good. I like the rhyme scheme on this part. He said, if you call us ginge, you can't whinge. If you're injured, if you don't have a tinge of the ginge in your minge, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. You know, my kids will always be clothed and fed because Papa's going to be bringing home the ginger bread. Fucking stop, bro. And they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read. And by red, I mean red and the other kind of red. It's a homophone. One second here. Here it is. So red and red are homophones, as Tim mentions, meaning they are pronounced the same exact way, right? Well read means to be knowledgeable, but Tim says they will also be well read due to their hair color, right? <sighs> This guy is too much. Ginger. Yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. Just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. Yeah. Only a ginger, only a ginger, only a ginger. Yo, this guy is fucking bold. <laughs> Wow, he is fucking bold, dude. He said, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. This guy is insane. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Are you listening? I'm not pointing the finger. I'm just having a singer. I am just reminding ya that only a ginger can call another ginger. Ginger. Brilliantly composed on the piano, though. Brilliantly composed on the keys there. My word. This is insane. Yeah, and fucking dark side. I feel it, Tim. Jesus. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. This is the craziest song we've ever had on the channel, I think. I don't know what else to say to you guys. I mean, we had fun with this one. We laughed our asses off with this one. This is a Tim Minchin thing right here. I don't know what else to fucking say about it. <laughs> My God. 
this guy is fucking wild. Way, thank you for the request. This video, I, I enjoyed making this video. What a video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Like I always say to you guys, please go get the help if you're struggling with things in life. I hope that if you were having a tough day or if you were having a tough time inside of addiction or mental health or just not having a good time today that the laughs in this video could cheer you up for real I, I hope that we could cheer you up with this one this was like a stress relief of laughter inside of this Tim mentions unbelievable I don't know what else to say to you guys at this point Tim mentions just unbelievable Original video will be down in the description. As always, subscribe to Tim Mention. Support the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world related to life. This was this was a hot take. Just pure hot take the whole way through. Tim is wild. I love you guys. We're going to get out of here. Um, because the copy a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment the suggestion, subscribe up this way, bang the notification bell for me. Y'all are fucking wild. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.